Wait, wait, wait. Hold on for a second. Hold on. They wrong for this. They wrong for this. Hold on. TMZ is out of pocket for this. Hold on. Donda Kanye West Donda Academy sued. You only fed kids sushi. What? <laughs> is that not the most Calabasas Hollywood bougie thing you've ever heard in your life? Now, I don't know if this is true or not. I have no idea. But you only fed my kids sushi. Y'all need to let Kanye just this man. Look, a lot of the he brought a lot of heat on himself. Let's just be real. Kanye, he brought a lot of heat on himself. And, you know, it's funny. Um, I haven't made a video about Kanye in a very long time, in a very long time. He's kind of been out of the news. He's kind of been out of the news. I have been noticing some things that I wanted to talk about, but I just haven't talked about it. But, y'all, I got to talk about this. <laughs> you only fed my kids sushi. It says Kanye West's private Christian school only feeds students one thing for lunch. Sushi. And they apparently have to eat it on the floor without tables or chairs. This is according to a new lawsuit. Wow. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. Ye and his Donda Academy are being sued by two black women. I don't know why they threw that in there. Why does it matter what race they are? By two black women who say they were fired from teaching positions at the school for two reasons. Retaliation uh, for sounding the alarm on alleged uh, education, health and safety code violations and for their race. You trying to tell me a black man fired two black women because they were black? <sighs> okay, let's move on. According to the lawsuit obtained by TMZ, the women say they were the only black teachers employed by Donda Academy when they were hired full time earlier this year. And they say it didn't take long for them to notice numerous health and safety violations, unlawful educational practices, and extremely unusual rules at Kanye's school. Among the alleged issues, the, woman, the women say the only lunch option available for students is sushi every single day. That's the only option available is sushi every single day. Now, look, I, for one, I, I like sushi. I happen to like sushi. I happen to like sushi. One thing I know about kids, I have two kids. My kids hate sushi. They hate sushi. I don't know about your kids, but my kids hate sushi. So I could only assume that most kids hate sushi. But I like sushi. But even me liking sushi, I'm not going to eat sushi every single day. I'm not going to. I don't even think that's good for you. I don't even think you're supposed to eat that much raw fish every single day. Especially if you're a child and like I, it's something. Now, hey, hold on. Dr. Nick. Dr. Nick checking in. I'm assuming children, I, I don't think they have as much like good bacteria like in their gut. Because, you know, there's like there's good bacteria and there's bad bacteria. I'm assuming that children don't have as much bad bacteria in their gut to handle raw fish every single day. And on top of that. They got to eat it off the floor? Yo, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Says they had to eat sushi every single day, and they are students are not allowed to bring any outside food or drink except for water. The suit claims that Kanye spends 10, well, this is nothing for Kanye, but for most people, this is, that's a lot of money. Kanye spends $10,000 a week on sushi. You spend $10,000 a week on sushi. How much is that? How much is that per year? $10,000 a week. That's $40,000 a month. Hold on. I didn't finish school, y'all. 40,000 times 12. 
480, that's half a million dollars a year on sushi. And it, listen, knowing, well, I was going to say something real foolish. I was going to say, knowing Con, Kanye, I don't know Kanye, but knowing of a little bit of how Kanye thinks, just based on what I see in the media, obviously, he probably thinks that he's doing something like good, like Yo, the, I'm, I'm, I'm spending all this money on, on sushi. Like, these kids are eating good for lunch every single day. But that's a little strange. That's straight up Calabasas. Like, that's, that, that's a little strange. It says, what's more, the teachers claim Kanye did not allow crossword puzzles or coloring sheets at Donda Academy. <laughs> Classes cannot take place on the second floor because Kanye is afraid of stairs. And Ye didn't want children using forks or utensils. Hold on. I need to read that again. The absurdity in that one paragraph is completely mind-blowing. I can't. <coughs> it's completely mind-blowing. Hold on. What's more, the teachers claim Kanye did not allow crossword puzzles or coloring sheets at Donda Academy. Classes could not take place on the second floor because Kanye is afraid of stairs. And Ye didn't want children using forks or utensils. The suit alleges Kanye did not allow artwork to be hung on walls. And no one was allowed to wear jewelry simply because he did not like jewelry. The teachers even claim Kanye didn't, didn't allow chairs. That actually might be healthy, though. It actually might be. I mean, I, I sometimes kids probably they need to sit down like you, your legs get tired. But like overall, that's probably healthier that you're standing. But anyway, uh, forcing children to sit on foam cushions or stand while teachers were uh, relegated to standing or using a stool. I always thought this photo was really weird. I always thought this photo was kind of weird. Number one, I mean, it's, it's a private school, so I guess it's not too strange that they're all wearing the same clothes. Um, but like all black, I'm not gonna, it's kind of hard. The outfits are kind of hard. I'm not gonna lie to you, but in a school setting, it looks kind of weird. And I, I thought it was kind of weird. Like it's so just bland, nothing on the wall, so industrial. And then they just have these like, you know, husky, like workbench type of things. I, I yeah, I always thought this photo was kind of weird. It says Donda Academy. What the heck is this? Man, y'all putting a, a random picture of Joe Jonas. It says Donda Academy, the suit says, required everyone to wear all black from head to toe and Nike and Adidas brands were forbidden. The teachers claim the school doors uh, were physically locked from the outside during the school day and students weren't allowed to go outside until they went home with the entire school. Huh? Oh, uh, okay, I get it. Um, hold on, hold on. I don't know. TMZ is so weird sometimes. All right, I had to skip this picture because it was unnecessary. Um, it says the clue, the the clue, the suit claims Donda Academy didn't have a janitor or school nurse. That's probably problematic. And there were no trash cans outside tra uh, classrooms or in the kitchen. Meanwhile, they say students' medications were stored in a closet with other expired medications just scattered around unsecured. You know, and this this is all allegations and, and whatnot, but this is I was critical <clears throat> excuse me, I was critical of Donda Academy. I made a video months ago talking about Donda Academy. Um, and basically I was saying, like, yo, who 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 is there that is going to give these children um sound doctrine this is supposed to be a, a christian school who on the staff is there that's going to provide these children with sound doctrine otherwise we're just leading them astray and i said you know kanye has all these resources he's a billionaire dude's got bread uh, unlimited connections he can pick up the phone and, and talk to anybody i'm assuming and it like how you, you how 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 is stuff like this being alleged how could how could you not have a janitor that's simple. That's simple. How could you not have a school nurse? 
That's like that's simple. You could find these two positions very, very easily. It's stuff like this where it's like, bro, where is the leadership within this organization to handle these basic things that children need, especially when you're running a school. And listen, I'm not going to sit here and fault Kanye 100% because he's never ran a school before. But I would assume that he would have people in a position that would help him run a school effectively, especially when you're trying to make a better option and an alternative to secular schools. When you're trying to make a Christian school, a private Christian school, you would think that you would everything would be buttoned up and, and, and like on the next level to show like secular schools like, hey, you don't need to send your children to those secular schools. We've got these th- this Christian school, this Donda Academy, and it's, it's airtight and everything is on point. And we believe in the Bible and we put that first. I don't know. I don't know. And get this, the teachers claim there are no lesson plans or proper uh, disciplinary procedures in place, resulting in students going undisciplined for multiple instances of bullying and physical assaults. Physical assaults? These are all supposed to be like, huh? Physical assaults? And physical assaults against teachers and peers? What? What? The teachers claim they tried to run the the alleged issues up the flagpole. They were threatened not to reach out to Kanye. The women say they were utter they were ultimately fired and they're blaming their termination on retaliation and racial discrimination. They also claim their paychecks were were whoa 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 whoa. They also claim their paychecks were often short. Up to $2,700 per pay period? That's a whole check. I mean, they must have been paid pretty good. If you were short $27 per pay period, that's a whole paycheck. You were short $2,700 per pay period and you still walked away with some money? Now, I'm not saying that's... I'm not saying it's okay. I'm just trying to figure out how much were you paying these 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 employees? Because that's a big number. Wow. It says so they're they're suing Kanye and Donda Academy for the money. We reached out to Kanye's camp. So far, no word back. Oh, man. So these are just things that you wouldn't expect to be an issue, especially when you have somebody like Kanye. And all listen, these are all allegations. We don't know if this is true or not. I'm, don't sue me. Like, I'm just reading a, a story from TMZ, right? But you would expect, if these allegations were true, as I said, you would expect that Kanye would have a better leadership in place to handle things like this so that these situations and these issues would not come up. Now, I'm curious um, because I I had read a story that said that Donda Academy was shutting down because of all the craziness that was happening with Kanye and y'all, y'all know what happened, right? Um, Are they still, are they still open though? Are they still open? Donda? That's our website right here. Uh, Admissions? We are currently accepting applications for the 2023-2024 school year. That's this school year, isn't it? Huh. I mean, I guess they're still open. Look, I want them to be successful, but I want them to do it in the right way. I think that we should have more options and, and more alternatives to secular schooling, specifically Christian schooling, that is affordable, number one. Now, this school is $15,000 per year. I mean... It's a private school, so I guess a lot of their, their their revenue is dependent on tuition. So I guess I can't be too mad at that, but that is a lot of money. But, you know, I, I would want more affordable, biblical Christian schools that would rival secular schools just to give us parents some options. Otherwise, you know, you know what? We can homeschool, I guess. Who has time for that? I mean... I would love to homeschool my children, um, but, I, you know, we have to work. 
things have to get done. Bills have to be paid. And most people are in that same situation. So to have an alternative, an, an, an affordable alternative where we, where we can send our, our kids would be amazing. But if they're just sitting on the floor eating sushi all day, I mean, I, I might as well just send them to back to their own like secular school. Because like, what are we doing at this point? That, that's more traumatic than some of the stuff that's happening in secular schools. So, wow, crazy story. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, yeah, man, like this video, subscribe if you have not already. I'm out.